Good day, everyone. Thank God it's another beautiful day. This is me again, Teacher Koy, and welcome to Easy Math Channel. Okay, guys, if you're new to my channel, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe, press that notification bell para maging updated po tayo sa lahat ng mga videos. Just want to say thank you to all our subscribers, to all our followers na nanood sa ating video, yung last upload ko, yun yung first tutorial na ginawa ko. Ang title po noon ay How to Find Greatest Common Factor. And for today's lesson, still on factoring, the title is Factoring the Difference of Two Squares. Before we move on, let us first define what is the meaning of the term perfect square? So, perfect square in mathematics. Okay? So, according to the definition, in mathematics, a square number or a perfect square is an integer that is the square of an integer. In other words, it is the product of some integer with itself. For example, 9. 9 is a perfect square. Why? Because 9 is the product of 3 square or 3 times 3. So the result is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Like also with 4. 4 is a perfect square because it is a product of 2 square or 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. Now, for our topic, factoring the difference of 2 square. Let us all remember these two terms. The term difference and the term square when we say difference so it involves subtraction or the minus sign and when we say square so it involves a perfect square number or a perfect square variable something like that okay so factoring the difference of two squares according to the definition an algebraic term is a perfect square when the numerical coefficient, the number in front of the variable, is a perfect square and the exponents of each of the variables are even number. Once we say numerical coefficient, so it means it is the number in front of the variable. For example, I have 2 or I have 4x squared. So 4 is our numerical coefficient and x is our variable. And the definition says that the exponents of each of the variables are even number so 4x squared so 4 is a perfect square and that is the numerical coefficient in front of our variable x and the exponent is 2 an even number according to the definition if two terms in a binomial are perfect squares separated by subtraction then you can factor them to factor the difference of two perfect squares, remember this rule. First, if we subtract separates two squared terms, then the sum and difference of two square roots factor the binomial. For example, like this one. I have this a squared minus b squared. So the factor of a squared minus b squared, because this is a difference of two squares, is a plus b times a minus b. So the sum and difference. In factoring the difference of two squares, we have to follow these two steps. First, first step is find the square roots of the two terms that are perfect square. And the second step is write the factorization as the sum and difference of the square roots. For example, I have this expression or algebraic expression. 9x squared minus 16. So 9x squared minus 16 is a binomial why because we have two terms binomial our first term is 9x squared and our second term is 16 and we can say that 9x squared minus 16 difference of two squares because our first term is a perfect square our second term is a perfect square and separated by a subtraction or a minus sign okay so we can say that 9x squared is a perfect square or first term because 9 is a product of 
3 square or 3 times 3. And the variable x has an exponent of 2, which is an even number. And for the second term, which is 16, it's also a perfect square because 16 is the product of 4 square or 4 times 4. Okay, so now, first step, find the square roots of the two terms that are perfect squares. So now, what is the square root of 9x squared? We know that 9 is a product of 3 times 3 or 3 squared. So therefore, the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, 3. And x squared is a perfect square also because the exponent of our variable x is 2. It's a product of x times x, so x squared. So therefore, the square root of x squared is x. And for our second term, which is 16, the square root of 16 is 4 because it is a product of 4 squared or 4 times 4. So we cannot proceed to step number 2 kasi nakuha na po natin yung square root ng first term at saka square root ng second term. So step number 2 says that write the factorization as the sum and difference of the square roots. So the square root of first term is 3x and the square root of our second term is 4. So write the factorization of sum and difference. So therefore, we write this one into this form. We have 3x, 4, 3x, then 4. This one is sum and this one is the difference. So the factor of 9x squared minus 16 is 3x plus 4 times 3x minus 4. So this is now our answer. Okay, so this is our answer. 3x plus 4 times 3x minus 4. So to check kung tama po ang ating answer, so let us use the FOIL method. So F stands for first terms, O is for the outer terms, and I is for the inner terms, and L is for the last terms. Okay, so F, first term. So our first term here is 3x, and we have also first term here. So, so 3x. So we have to multiply the first term. 3x times 3x is equals to 9x squared. 3 times 3 is 9. x times x is x squared. O, outer terms. So for this part here, our outer term is 3x. And for this part also here, our outer term is 4. So we have to multiply this one. 3x times 4. So 3x times 4, 3 times 4 is 12. And this is negative, so that's negative 12. Then, x. And for the i, the inner terms. So for this part here, our inner term is 4. And for this part here also, is our inner term is 3x. So we have to multiply this one, 4 times 3x. So 4 times 3 is 12. Then we have an x, so that is 12x positive because 4 is a positive 1 and 3x is a positive so therefore plus 12x and l last terms for this part here our last term is 4 and for this part here our last term is negative 4 okay so we have to multiply this one positive 4 times the negative 4 always remember that if we multiply different signs like this one positive multiplied by a negative number the result is negative so therefore positive 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Okay, simplify. We have 9x squared. So we have like terms here, negative 12x and positive 12x. So what will happen? Yes, cancel. And the remaining here is negative 16. So therefore, this is our original expression, 9x squared minus 16. So therefore, Yung sagot po natin na 3x, minus, uh, 3x plus 4 times 3x minus 4 is correct. Kasi pag ginamitan po natin ang FOIL method, babalik siya sa original expression. For our next example, we have x squared minus 9. So this is a difference of two squares. Because our first term is a perfect square, x squared, product of x times x. And our second term is 9, product of 3 times 3. And this is a difference of two squares. Look at the sign here at the middle. Subtraction or the minus sign. 
Okay, first step, find the square roots of the two terms that are perfect squares. So, let us first find the square root of our first term, which is x squared. So, we know that x squared is a product of x times x or x squared, x times x. So, therefore, the square root of x squared is x. And 9 is the product of 3 squared or 3 times 3. So, therefore, the square root of 9 is 3. So, second step. Write the factorization as the sum and difference of the square roots. So, ang mangyari po dyan ay maging ganito. We have x, 3, sum, and x, 3, difference. Sum and difference of the square roots. Because this is our square root. Square root of the first term and square root of the second term. So, this is now our answer. So, to check this one, kung tama po ba yung answer natin, Again, we will use the FOIL method. F stands for first terms, O is for the outer terms, and I is for the inner terms, and L is for the last terms. Okay, so for this part here, our first term is X. For this part also here, our first term is X. So we will multiply X to this one, X times X. So X times X is X squared. O, outer terms. So, for this part here, our outer term is x. And for this part here, our outer term is 3. So, let's multiply x to 3. So, x times 3. This is negative 3. This is positive x. So, therefore, negative 3 x i inner terms. So, for this part here, our inner term is 3. And for this part here, our inner term is x. So, therefore, let's multiply 3 to x. So, 3 times x. This is positive. This is positive. So, the result is plus 3 x and l is for the last terms for this part here our last term is 3 and for this part here our last term is 3 so therefore let us multiply 3 to this another 3 this is positive 3 this is negative 3 so negative 3 or positive 3 multiplied by negative 3 the result is negative yes negative 9 simplify we have like terms here 3x but the other one is negative and the other one is positive. So, therefore, yes, cancel. And, ano ang natira? X squared minus 9. So, this is our original expression. So, therefore, yung answer po natin na X plus 3 times X minus 3 is correct. Okay, so that ends with our topic for today. Entitled, Factoring the Difference of Two Squares. So, sa lahat ng gustong makakuha ng soft copy, for your handouts and soft copy for this video. As of now, hindi pa available yung download download link po natin. Pero, I will try my best na this week, makagawa na po tayo ng link para sa soft copy for your handouts and the soft copy of this video. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. And always remember, para sa bata, para sa paaralan, para sa kinabukasan.